Welcome to yet another edition of our online entrepreneurship program. I'm Leroy Kumalo and I'm your host. This is the Financial Literacy Module. To get started, let us discuss and uh, also go through our activity and ground rules. We'll be given an opportunity to speak at the end of each module where we're going to have our question and answer session. And please ensure to log in on time so that your network is set and there are no disturbances during the training. Please also participate actively if you're given an opportunity to do so and share your experiences and any challenges that you might have. As an individual, you can list your own expectations out of the course and expectations that can be listed uh, and posted on our online poll. So um, they can be considered at the end of the training. As, the end, as indicated, this is the financial literacy module. We're going to look at accounting principles, measuring wealth, money management, decision-making, financial literacy, as well as entrepreneurship. We want to have an understanding of basic bookkeeping, costing, and money management, and understand basic uh, concepts of uh, financial management and its impact on our business cash flows. To get started, accounting principles. In this module, we're going to look at the importance of accounting principles as well as understanding financial accounting. Please take this opportunity to test your knowledge regarding um, financial accounting. Well, accounting principles and their importance. How's your level of understanding in this regard? Financial accounting and exposure to financial statements and different types of companies. Please rate yourself up according to your understanding as indicated on our poll. Understanding accounting. We'll take into consideration that some of the uh, people we have in our class might be educated, some of them might be uh, certified accountants, and some of the ones we have might be also in doing A-levels, maybe even studying accounting. And some of the people we have in our group do not have any knowledge with regards to accounting. Hence, our training will be very basic so that anyone can simply understand and perform any managerial duties is required um, by the company that's expected by the company. Well, accounting is an analysis and interpretation of uh, bookkeeping records. This doesn't only include maintaining of um, accounting records, but the preparation of financial and economic information. This involves measurement and of transactions and other events relating to your business. Now, accounting principles. These are the set of guidelines that companies must follow when reporting financial data. Consider a few. Revenue recognition principle, we're going to touch uh, uh, deep into this. Cost principle, matching principle, full disclosure and objective, uh, objectivity principle. The ultimate goal of any uh, set of accounting principles is to ensure that the company's financial statements complete, consistent, consistent and comparable. Let us discuss a bit um, on the accounting concepts. Firstly, when we, we always talk of assets, but do we really understand what we mean with regards to assets? This is anything that is in the current or future operations of your business, that belongs to your business. You could be owning land that you are currently uh, utilizing for your farming post, uh, uh, operations. You could be owning equipment. You could be owning tractors. Those are your assets. Those are the business assets. There could be a building established and developed at your farm. That's an asset. All this fall under the asset concept of accounting. Equity. These are the claims now against the enterprise. After at the end of the year, this can be claimed. They can be owner claimed, or they can be outsiders claimed in terms of um, liability. Capital. With capital, this is excess of assets or liabilities of the enterprise. It's the difference between the assets of the business 
and the liabilities of the enterprise. When we talk of the liability, what are we referring to? This is the amount owed by the enterprise to the outsiders. Revenue. We might all understand this because we are out every day to generate this. This is the monetary value of the product that you sell or the service that you sell. This is the actual value of that um, product or service or that item that you sell to your customers. Expense or the costs incurred for in business operations. Now we're talking about expenses, we're talking about any expenditure incurred by the business, any expense that you incur in order to earn value of that product or service that you offer. In your uh, line of business in our farming industry, we might think of uh, two different types of expenses that we incur, or in any line of business, there are two types of in, uh, <clears throat> expenses that we can incur. This can be direct cost as well as operational cost. Well, with regards to the direct cost, we're going to touch deep into that. These are the examples of seeds or fertilizers that you buy in order to put it in your land and produce your products. Now with operational costs, now we're talking about your salaries, your rentals, your electricity. These are the costs that the business incurs as operational costs. Now, these are some of the basic uh, concepts of accounting that we have. Now, let, let's unpack that. Financial accounting. With financial accounting, we are keeping track of the company's financial transactions. In financial accounting, transactions are recorded, they're summarized, and then they are presented in a financial report or in financial statements. Now, what are we talking about when we're referring to financial statements? I'm sure you've been to some institutions that require you to produce financial statements of your business. Do you know this? Examples of this include an income statement for your business. This entails the income or the revenue as indicated earlier, the revenue of your business and the expenses that the business incurs. We have the balance sheet statement that now details all the assets and the liabilities of the business. Then we have the cash flow statement that details the all the how all the money of the business moved in and out of the company throughout the course of the year. Now, in this aspect of our financial accounting, we discussed the um, key terms that we have in accounting. We discussed the assets, which is the equipment that your business owns, your buildings. We discussed the expenses. This is what your business incurs in order to produce or to generate that revenue. Remember, two types of the expenses, which the direct and indirect expenses. Direct expenses, talking to the seeds that we use at our farms. And we also have the operational expenses, which we can also refer them as the indirect expenses, which we're talking about referring to the rentals, the salaries, and other expenses that we incur in our daily operations. Now, we we'll also um, discuss understanding financial accounting and how it is used in maintaining the books of accounting and the purpose of the income statement where it details fully the revenue and the uh, expenses of the business, as well as the movement of the business ca um, cash in our cash flow statement. That's the basic uh, understanding that we have in with regards to um, financial accounting. Now let us discuss measuring wealth. In this uh, regard, we want to understand factors affecting profitability in our businesses. We want to understand the financial statements in depth. And we also want to understand how to measure the profitability of our businesses. Once again, please test your knowledge 
regarding the understanding of the under-mentioned uh, concepts. Preparation of an income statement, the preparation of a balance sheet, how's your level of understanding with regards to that? And as well as business valuations. Let's discuss for profitability. This is the measure of an organization's profit relative to its expenses. This is where we measure the profit made by our businesses. Consider the expenses incurred during that course of the month or the course of the year. Organizations that are more efficient will realize more profit than a less efficient organization. Why? Because they're able to manage their revenue such that the business is sustainable using the revenue generated, not going overboard, uh, uh, especially on the expenses, going overboard more than what the business can afford. Well, at the end of the day, the primary objective is to make money. The amount of money made and after considering every revenue of earnings and expenses is the profitability of our business. Well, as we all uh, might know, if a business is not profitable, it won't last long because it doesn't have enough revenue uh, to sustain itself. Now, what are the factors affecting the profitability, especially in farming? Firstly, with a uh, number of production units or production per unit. How is our production? And the factors include the direct cost with regards to production. Now, the direct cost involved in the production of your commodities. Does the, is the business able to meet the direct costs and eventually make a gross profit? Other factors also include overhead costs, other expenses involved in the operation of the business, the rentals if they're any fuels, transport, um, our salaries. All these factors should be considered in order to make sure that our business is profitable at the end of the day. Now, how is each of these affecting you in your specific operations? Think of your operations. Think of how you are operating your business right now. Think of the direct costs that are involved. Think of your production and the overhead cost. How are these affecting your, or your, your, your operations? Think about that and we'll discuss more about those. Now, let us understand a bit on the financial statements as indicated earlier. Firstly, the first statement we're going to consider is the income statement. This is where we indicated that we speak to the revenue of the business. The expenses, firstly, the direct expenses that were involved in order for the revenue to be generated, as well as the operational expenses. For example, we have an example of, uh, of, a, of an income statement that talks to, that indicate the sales. So this is the revenue that the business generate uh, at the end of the month. Now, direct cost, fertilizers. Your seeds, how much to buy, how much seeds do you buy, perhaps for the for a certain farming season, perhaps it's for the year. Those are the sales for you over the year, and those are the uh, direct expenses for the year. How much uh, seeds did you buy? How much fertilizer should we buy? We deduct that from ourselves first in order to get a gross profit mm. before the net profit. Now, let's take into consideration the operational expenses. How much was the telephone bill for the course of the year? How much were our salaries? How much did we spend uh, on marketing of our products? How much did we spend on, on our rentals, on our telephone, for internet if we have? We take all those figures into consideration and deduct them from our gross profit. Then our the difference that we're going to have, either a negative balance, that will indicate that the business made a loss during the course of the year. Well, a positive balance will, in, in the, uh, will show that the business made profit during the course of the year. This is how we structure our business, our income statement. Now, 
the balance sheet, also referred to as the statement of the financial position of the business. This is where we see the values of our assets of the business, the value of how much the land that we have uh, is valued at, any buildings that we have under your business, the, all these are the values of your assets. We have uh, current assets as well, which include any inventory. How much inventory we have? How much stock do we have for the business? On our liabilities, how much loans do we have? Now, creditors, whom are we owing? How much are we owing them? All that is included there. Now, to understand at the end of the day, to have a true picture of the value of the business assets on our balance sheet, the amount of liabilities will be added on the, or, or the amount of the liabilities will be added on the equity. Then we see the value of our assets. On this section, we touched more on profitability, on what affects the profit of our business. The presentation of the income statement from our revenue to our direct cost, then the indirect cost. Then we see if the business is making a net profit or a net loss. The presentation of our balance sheet and the basic preparation of our income statement. This is some of the things that as a business you should be in a position to do in order to have an overview of what the business is currently uh, doing and how are the current operations of the business. Now, let us touch into uh, money management. On this regard, we want to discuss various components uh, of uh, money management, various principles of money management, and also understanding more on, our, on the cash flow management of our business. Before we get started, please, once again, test your knowledge regarding um, money management. How's the level of understanding with regards to money management? How's the level of understanding with regards to the principles of money management and cash flow management as a whole? How would you define money management? Now, this is the process of budgeting. This is a process of saving, investing, spending. We are overseeing the capital usage of an individual of, or the company. This is how we see how all the money that the business has is used, managed and used. Let's discuss a few principles of money management, which we should master, especially in our small businesses in order for us to grow and to, in order to have to have proper uh, to know how to properly handle our finances now firstly consistency transactions must be handled in a consistent manner now each and every individual involved in the handling of business finance they have to understand the policies and procedures that have been developed for the business to handle the finance of the business. And then this will automatically allow our business to have transactions which are handled consistently in a very consistent manner. Timeless. Our transactions, again, they have to be handled within a period of time consistent with the time frames outlined of federal agencies. Justified, there should be properly, there should be a reason for the transaction that support the project's goals. When the money is spent, there should be justification on how that money is spent. Is it being spent to support the project or the goals of the company? Fourthly, documentation. This is where most of us might lag because we might not see the importance of documentation. Each money spent in the business it has to have a supporting document sufficient documentation to support the transaction must exist each and every transaction performed within the company either from daily transactions weekly transactions monthly transactions they should all be compiled 
and be consistent. They should be justified. They should have a source supporting document for any money used in the business. Certification. Transactions must be approved and uh, carry and carry all the uh, correct authorizing signatures. In case your business, as you you might have uh, indicated on the policies of the business, there are certain people who handle the finance of the business who are mandated to properly manage the finance of the business, properly manage how the business uh, revenue is recorded and business expenses are catered for. The transactions of the, any money that's spent in the business, they should be only be authorized by that personnel indicated on the policies of your business. Now, this will um, allow your business uh, to, to, to easily trace any money spent within the organization. Now, how do we understand the cash flow management? Cash flow, a cash flow statement is a financial statement. This document or this financial record or statement summarizes the movement of cash within the organization. It measures how well the organization manages its cash and also meet any debt obligations that the business has. Now, we have discussed cash, we've discussed the cash flow. Now, cash and profitability. How can we uh, uh, see the difference between the two? Well, the key difference is that while profit indicates the money, uh, the amount left after all the expenses have been paid, the cash flow statement it indicates the net cash flow, the net cash into and out of the business at the end of a certain period. It refers to the net balance of cash moving in and moving out of the business at a specific uh, point in time. This balance might be positive, depending on how the cash moved within the organization. It also can be negative, depending on how much revenue has generated, how much the obligation the business had. This will tell if the business uh, uh, records a positive or a negative balance. Now, when we're talking about the profit, this is the balance of money that remains after all the business expenses are deducted from the money that was generated by the business. Afterwards, we have taken, at the end of the year, after we've taken into consideration all the direct costs that were involved during our farming season, all the operational costs that were involved, you've paid all your salaries, you've paid all the rental, the business does not owe anything perhaps at the end of the year. Now, this is defined as your profit of the business. Turn to so take into consideration the two types of expenses. Deduct the direct cost, your seeds, your fertilizers, deduct the operational expenses. Then you will have an overview of uh, profit uh, or the profitability of your business. Now, this is the profit now within an organization which the owners of the business can share within themselves at the end of, uh, of an accounting period or at the end of the year. This can be in form of dividend payments or even equity uh, or even reinvested back into the company. Now, we've discussed um, three aspects of financial literacy. Firstly, the un uh, understanding what we're talking about, what we're talking about financial accounting, which is the analysis and proper interpretation of bookkeeping records. Remember, it's not only the maintaining of accounting records, but the actual preparation of the accounting um, of the financial statements. Remember the financial statements? We have our income statement, we have our balance sheet, we have our cash flow. That details, that will actually give us a clear understanding of the state the business at the end of any period. How to understand the profitability? We discussed how that 
This is the measure of the organization's profit relative, relative to the expenses that are incurred by the business. Now, this is where we see now, if our business is profitable at the end, we take our revenue, we take our direct costs, we take our operational costs, then we see if our business is profitable at the end of any accounting period. With money management, processes involved to money management, proper budgeting, investing, spending, overseeing the capital usage of an individual, individual or for a company. Don't forget the proper recording and the proper uh, principles regard, uh, behind the financial accounting policies of the business. It should be an individual who authorizes any movement of the uh, of, of of the money within the organization that will allow the business to easily track any expense to easily track any money used in the business any money that went in and money that went out this will allow us as business owners to have a true picture of the operations of our business or the state of our business to easily see and plan and see if we are meeting the vision of the business, any short-term as well as any long-term goals that we set in our business plan for our business. Now, that was the first uh, section of our financial literacy. Our next section will talk to how do we understand financial accounting in depth? How do we separate spending, personal spending and business spending? To have one uh, business or credit card for our uh, expenditure where we swipe all our personal expenses as well as our business expenses we'll see how we should separate those as well as now you as a business owner you are the entrepreneur what sort of qualities are you supposed to possess please tune in again for our next uh, um, episode of our financial literacy Bye for now.